We are at 13 points. Where's the microphone? Here? Right there. For the news people, so I can help my... Uh... It's connected. It's connected. All right. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, I always say, uh, if God is with you, who could be against you, right? Yeah. Quién contra ti? And uh, I, we did it again. We did it again in 2020. We did it. Now we did it in 2022. And I would have not been able to make it or to do what we've done. 13 points ahead, and we're still counting. I would have not been able to do it without these people around me. Without these people that are around me that have helped me so tirelessly for so many months, and and to the voters. My message to the voters, thank you. Thank you very much for, for believing that I could represent your values and your principles and that I can do a good job on your behalf. Thank you very much for, for that um, amazing victory. Um, this election proves what Ronald Reagan famously said, the Latinos are Republicans, they just don't know it. Until tonight, because 2022 has been the year of the Hispanic Republicans. Because for the last two years, the radical left has tried to change the course of this country. But the founding fathers created a system that was too strong and is still standing on the pillars of faith, family, and freedom. My district number 27, where we are, we're in the heart of District 27 at this hour, is the best example in the whole country, probably, how the Hispanics, we, the people that live in this country, revere, adore what we call the American exceptionality. Because thanks to that American exceptionality, we can all live here in dignity. And we are good citizens of the best country on earth. We, sent, we have sent during this uh, election a very clear message to Washington. Stay out of our way and out of our pockets. My voters rejected the direction in which the country is heading right now. But I want to say that tonight begins a new dawn. Republicans and Democrats cannot spend the next two years rejecting each other in Congress like I lived in the last cycle. That is not the American way. That is why I'm announcing that my office in Congress will be open and is open to any member of Congress of any party who wants to help the American people and who wants to keep the American way alive. The nation craves a return to normalcy. That's why you see the results that you're seeing tonight. And one of the biggest challenges that we are facing at this hour is that open border, the southern border. Hispanics, I repeat once again, and now that I have this mandate, I can say that Hispanics do not want open borders. No one does. That is why I introduced in the last cycle the Dignity Act, a historic and complete plan for immigration reform. The Dignity Act seals first and foremost the border. We do not like what's happening. We want it sealed. And it puts an end to the madness. And the plan also simultaneously put, takes people out of the shadows and into the workforce. A plan that gives dignity to millions and millions who serve in the most vital industries in this country. We will reestablish with this Dignity Act the respect for American laws and we will inspire belief that this country always gives you a check and chance. Thanks again for the hundreds of thousands of people who voted for me in the last two weeks. You can count on my passion, my energy, and my commitment to serve you well. May the Lord guide us.